have to move mountains to get out of prison. Prominent attorney Kathleen Zellner, best known for overturning wrongful convictions, has taken the Avery case. In this video, we look at where Kathleen Zellner is now and whether she's still active as Stephen Avery's attorney. My client's innocent and the crime scene investigation was mishandled. Before we get into today's video, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps YouTube show you more of our amazing content. Let's jump right in. Kathleen Zellner is a famous U.S. attorney who featured a lot in the second season of Netflix's Making a Murder. The investigative documentary series takes its audience through the mistrial and conviction of Stephen Avery, followed by his second arrest for the suspected murder of Teresa Halbach. Zellner now serves as Avery's post-conviction attorney. The documentary series traces the events that led up to his second arrest. The first time he was sentenced to prison for sexually assaulting and abusing Penny Bernstein. After spending 18 years in jail, he was exonerated after a DNA test proved him innocent. The series pitches itself right at this juncture, where Avery is arrested for a second time. The documentary series has created critical and social discussions in its wake. Kathleen Zellner makes her entry into the second season as the representative for Stephen Avery's case, and she's certainly a powerful figure not to be messed with. You might be wondering who is Kathleen Zellner? Kathleen Zellner is a Chicago-based lawyer who worked her way up to the Hall of Fame by representing many wrongfully convicted individuals. Her law firm is dedicated to handling prison abuse cases, civil rights violations, and wrongful conviction cases. She holds a record for exonerating around 19 people who were wrongfully tried, convicted, and sent to prison. I've gotten 20 people released from prison, you know, some off of death row. Her husband, Robert Zellner, is a commodities and bond trader with a doctorate in economics. They have a daughter named Anne, who is also an attorney. She opened her firm, Kathleen T. Zellner & Associates, in Downers Grove, Illinois, in 1991. Her firm handles wrongful conviction cases, civil rights violations, medical malpractice, and prisoner abuse cases. Zellner had achieved 19 exonerations as of October 2018, and now 20 exonerations for clients. One of Zellner's most famous clients is Kevin Fox, who was arrested for the sexual assault and murder of his daughter, Riley Fox. Once Zellner got involved with the case, it was found that the confession was coerced. Along with this, Zellner found vital pieces of evidence that were not given due importance by the police. The real perpetrator of the crime was caught and sent to prison as a result. Zellner earned Fox a considerable amount for the mistrial and prosecution. Zellner was also the defense attorney for Larry Eiler, who was sent to prison for murdering over 21 men. Though this was not a mistrial, several facts were misinterpreted in the case. He died due to AIDS in prison. Eiler confessed to Zellner regarding the murders under an attorney-client confidentiality clause. After his death, as agreed upon with Eiler, she made the details of his victims public. Zellner took on Avery's case after all the publicity it was gaining. So far, she has been able to get his case admitted for a possible trial hearing based upon evidence. She submitted a lengthy document to its end. She has discovered that the bones that were initially found on Avery's property were actually found elsewhere. She calls the act of handing out a crucial piece of evidence like Hallback's bones to her family as convenient, when it's in possession at the moment would have helped in making new breakthroughs in the case. So where is Kathleen Zellner now? Kathleen Zellner is still actively involved with Stephen Avery's case in 2021. On her official website and Twitter handle, she posts recent updates of the case. Her website is always on the lookout for tips to scout more evidence, along with the fun tab that would help finance the proceedings of the case. She has even posted the appellate brief of Avery's case on her website. The many high-profile cases she has handled and the sums she has enabled for them through lawsuits are available for the public. On her Twitter handle, too, she remains committed to freeing the innocent, as she puts it. She even has hashtags that go, hashtag Ask Zellner, that seeks to answer queries regarding those proceedings of the case. It also serves as a discussion forum for those who are invested in seeing this matter play out till its very end. In December 2020, she posted on Twitter twice referencing the Avery case. The first was at the beginning of the month stating, Talk to Stephen Avery today. He sounds strong, positive, and is optimistic about the appellate court. We will never stop fighting to free him. We sent him the hundreds of supportive messages. At Making a Murderer. Then again in the same month on the 18th of December, she posted, Three Zoom calls in the last two weeks reveal Stephen Avery is strong, healthy, and adamant as ever about his innocence. The details of the story he tells about 1031 never change. 
at Making a Murderer. Kathleen Zellner is so committed to freeing Stephen Avery and it is clear she will not stop until she does. She is continuing to look for small pieces of evidence that prove he's innocent. On Christmas Day, she posted up a letter from Stephen Avery to his supporters. The message inside the card read, I love my supporters. They are my family and God. Christmas is about family and love. I love my mom and dad. Happy New Year. I only got one wish on my God. Be home for my mom and dad. Love Stephen Avery 2020. Kathleen continues to be active to the cause in 2020 with a tweet on the 30th of January stating, FYI, we are still testing evidence for Stephen Avery's case. Every particle matters. So much evidence never tested. At Making a Murderer. Zellner's estimated to be worth over $90 million. And there you have it, Kathleen Zellner, then and now. Let us know down below what you think of all the work she's done to date. Do you think she represents Avery well? That's it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Before you go, though, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps YouTube show you more of our amazing content.